This is Mike Bot. So today I have the long awaited TPU settings video. I have spent a lot of time trying to perfect these settings and I think I have the right formula now. So I ended up doing seven tests in total and um, continuously improving with each test, each build, uh, every single basically error I tried to fix with the next print. Uh, I'm going to be showing all seven prints at the end of this video with all the different settings I use for all the videos. But basically, in a nutshell, the settings that worked for me, um, and this is the best I could get it, are uh, basically the following. So quality, 0 0.2 millimeters. Walls, 2.4. And you need to make sure alternate extra walls is up, as well as uh, filter out any tiny gaps. By the way, uh, I will be showing all the settings in text at the end of this video. So I'm not going to start pointing arrows and everything throughout this video. So just uh, bear with me here. Top bottom 2.4 concentric and connect top bottom polygons. This is all really important. This is what worked for me. The infill I experimented with quite a bit and what worked best for me was 99% uh, infill density with the cross pattern, connected infill lines, connect infill polygons, as well as infill before walls. For the material, this is also important, 230 degrees Celsius, start with 240, build plate at 50. So it's very important once your print is done, use isopropylene alcohol and you slowly start scraping, get it off. Cause it's going to be really stuck on that PEI spring bed sheet and you're going to rip the entire print off if you don't do this properly. So make sure you spray it with a ton of isopropylene alcohol and you scrape very, very slowly. Another really important setting here is flow 135%. I tried many different settings and 135 was the best formula I got. Speed. This is going to suck for everyone. It sucks for me too. I tried various different speeds ranging from 100 to 70 to 80. 50 was the only way I could get it to come out perfect. So unfortunately, lower your speed down to 50. Make sure acceleration and jerk is off. Travel. Disable retraction. Do not use retraction no matter what you do. And enable avoid printed parts when traveling. Avoid supports when traveling. Make sure combing is set to all. Another very important thing to do. Cooling, disable it completely. Cooling, disable it completely. Do not use cooling or you're going to clog your hot end. Supports, uh, up to you on whatever you're doing. I didn't use supports. And then... Very importantly, build plate adhesion skirt. Make sure you use skirt. Do not use brim. Do not use raft. It must be a skirt. And other than that, make sure your bed is leveled. And as well as it being leveled, make sure you keep your Z offset to 0, 0.00. Don't play with the Z offset whatsoever. So there it is. Those are the settings that work for me. And stay tuned for all the different tests I did with all the different settings. Make sure you follow test seven. That's the one that worked for me. And don't forget the isopropylene alcohol to remove your print from the PEI sheet. That is very important. So I've attempted a ton of tests on this TPU with the anchor make, and it's been a pain in the butt, but I think I finally got it. So I am ready to share my settings with you. So with test one, I went with uh, 230, 50, uh, zero offset, 100 milli MMS speed, retraction off, combing on, uh, travel off with a skirt, infill at 20%, no fan, walls at 0 0.8. Uh, infill was at about 20%, uh, uh, like I said, but it was concentric. And then the flow was 102 and it was a 0 0.2 layer height. So as you can see, it wasn't too bad, a little stringy, uh, not that great. So then I tried an adjustment and I'm going to display all the settings uh, in the video. I'm not going to go over them um, one by one. Uh, you'll just see the settings pop up to your left or right. So as you can see with this one, there's a lot of uh, issues and problems still. Test three was a complete disaster. Test four, 
also not that great lots of issues test five it started to get better test six was probably the best one of them all so then i took test six and i tweaked it even further and i finally got perfection this is a perfect tpu print as you can see no issues compared to the rest and no problems so there it is give those settings a shot and let me know what you think If you liked this video today, please hit that like button. Please leave a comment letting me know what you thought of it, if the settings worked for you or not. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. It's greatly appreciated. I do this stuff as a hobby. It's out of pocket. Subscription would be awesome if you would just hit subscribe. So that's it for now. Thanks again. Mike Bot out.